Good morning, it's Scott with Dunnish Garage and we are here with Pastor Leighton O'Connor. Thanks for having me, Scott. Um, you're a photographer and a pastor. Amongst a few other things. Amongst a few other things. And you're doing a nine month trip. Yes. To bless the homeless and to bring awareness to the homeless. Correct. So where did this come from? God. <laughs> God put it in my heart in 2018 to do a six month mission trip in my Jeep and to do outreach to the homeless to 30 people, 30 cities. 30 cities. And uh, I did that in 2019, it was very successful. Uh, we did outreach in 46 cities from June 2019 to uh, the end of November of 2019. God put it on my heart to do it again. Uh, when I did the first trip, I only had one chapter of the Christian Jeep Association. Now there's 38 chapters of the Christian Jeep. Christian Jeep Association. Nice. So on this trip, as well as doing outreach to the homeless in 50 cities, I'm also visiting with every chapter president, like you. Okay. We have the chapter president of Nebraska. So I've been visiting with presidents throughout the trip. I've been on the road for over two weeks now, and I visited, I think, with six different presidents of different chapters. Nice. And, uh, that's part of the trip as well. Nice. Nine month trip. Right. How many cities? Uh, plan is 50 cities. 50 cities. We have, I believe it's 42 that are already scheduled. Okay. We have leaders in each city that arrange for the outreach. Okay. So Beantown Blankets is a sponsor. They ship 50 blankets to each in, to each city. Okay. And then also I have a storage unit in Massachusetts filled up with Bibles and uh, socks and also hygiene kits. So every week my volunteer Steve Ford goes into that storage unit and ships a package to me with the Bible, socks, hygiene kits into the leader of each city. So those donations are already there before I get there, and the, and the person, the volunteer in that city, sets up a uh, outreach event. So we might meet at a Walmart parking lot, there might be two Jeeps, there might be 25 Jeeps, all filled up with stuff, and then we go out and uh, bless the homeless with whatever we have. And how did you decide what cities to do? Uh, originally, my, my uh, first time, I looked at the cities with the highest rate of homelessness. Okay. Uh, and just I'm using that list again based on my trip in 2019, but just adding to it. There's okay. new cities added to it. So from Massachusetts, cross country, as far north as Alaska. All the way up to Alaska. Nice. Vancouver, um, Calgary, uh, Fairbanks, uh, Anchorage. Wow. And what is the goal? I mean, what is your end goal? Uh, to reach as many possible pe people as possible that are struggling with homelessness to care for them, to let them know they're loved, they're not forsaken, they're not forgotten. Okay. And also, uh, a lot of the volunteers that showed up were unchurched. Okay. So what, what I do is I share the gospel with them and pray with them. And All right, so what year, Jeep? 2015. 2015. And I bought it in June of 2018. I had no idea any of this would happen, didn't know much about Jeeps. Okay. And just stuff started happening. Uh, I actually did all my classwork inside my Jeep, on the phone, um, at a beach in New Hampshire to become a uh, licensed minister with Assembly of God. And after that st stuff started happening, God put, a, put it on my heart to help the homeless with this first trip in 2019 and also create the Christian Jeep Association. It just went over 150,000 miles uh, the other day. So far, I'm 4,000 miles, over 4,000 miles on this trip, and I, I think I'm at maybe 14, 15 states so far. Wow. Yeah, and it's been to 41 states already uh, and four Canadian provinces, and I think by the end of this trip will be 49 states, maybe 48. Hawaii, that's the one I'm trying to figure out, how to get the Jeep there. <laughs> if anybody wants to donate a container for it to go over there, missionforhope.us. <laughs> Pontoons. Pontoons, right. <laughs> so, the Jeep came first, then everything just happened after yes. that. So I guess that one of the questions I had, I had was, why a Jeep? Because obviously vans have more living space, campers for doing this, but yeah. that makes sense, get the Jeep. And I know that's how it happened with me. It's yeah. Well, my, I had a pickup truck, it was dying, and I went to the dealership, and uh, and I, this was the first Jeep I looked at. I didn't even have a Jeep in mind, and I sat in the Jeep, and I thought, this is kind of nice. I had bar borrowed my father's Wrangler years ago um, for a month and I really liked the Jeep and ended up working out a deal with the dealership and I got the Jeep. But it wasn't like something I was searching for and clearly God had a plan for this, for this Jeep and ministry. Nice. 
What is, and I know we'll go around the Jeep and have you point out some of your modifications to it. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite modification? Oh, there are so many. I would say this: the tri the, the the hitch in the trailer, the step, because that step. comes in very handy. Getting up into my recovery box, getting into the Pelican case, okay. uh, getting up to the awning, uh, getting up to take the tent, take the tent cover off, put the tent cover on. That's one of my favorites. Uh, there's so many that uh, just seem to be working out well. What is your least favorite mod? The one thing that you put on, took off, or wish you would never have done? I really can't think of anything. Okay. Yeah, pretty happy with everything. Fair enough. I would say the first set of bumpers I got, I wasn't very happy with because they rusted after a year, and I, I won't use the manufacturer's name. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and how can the viewers help? So uh, my website's missionforhope.us. Okay. Always, always, always need prayer and support. If uh, there's a listing of the cities on the website of where I'm going to, there's a page where you can volunteer and check off the, the city you're interested in volunteering. So if you want to show up, uh, most of the outreaches are all on a Saturday. If you want to show up on a Saturday, uh, we can keep in touch with you. There's a Facebook event set up for every, every, every outreach event so they can join the Facebook event so they can be notified when we're going to be there. Uh, support's always always welcome. Gas is uh, kind of crazy money these days, so oh yeah, support is always welcome, and that's you know prayer and support that'd be awesome. And well, I think you figured about seven thousand gallons of fuel over the next nine months, I, roughly. I don't want to think of it. <laughs> I don't even. Oh, when I put fuel in it, I just yeah. cringe. I cringe. I try not to to to, to dote on it too long, but yeah, quite a bit of fuel. Yeah. Uh, apologize for the Jeep being so dirty. I found a nice little trail <laughs> yesterday in the Buffalo Gap National Grasslands. And I uh, had some fun exploring over there yesterday. And that's where I camped last night in South Dakota. Any lift? It's a two and a half lift. Two and a half inch lift, 33 yeah. inch tires. Yeah, and uh, actually I have the two and a half lift, but I replaced the rear springs with three and a half. Three and a half with the weight. With the weight, because it was yep. just still sagging a little bit. Uh, I used Genesis to... dual battery kit with two deep cycle yellow top batteries, Optima. And they donated these batteries for my first trip. And there's all kinds of, I didn't do any of this wiring, but uh, there's just a couple geniuses behind it did it back home at my church. And uh, there's lights on each corner of the rack. There's a solar control um, controller there. I have portable solar panels. I don't use them a real lot because usually I'm only in a spot for one day and the next day the alternator can charge the batteries again. But it's a Garvin rack, which they donated for my first trip, which I'm extremely happy with and it works with the soft top. I have a Smittybilt tent, pretty happy with. It's wired with 12 volts, so I can charge things, USB fan, keep it cool up there, but I'm very, very happy with the tent. There's uh, a five gallon gas tank on the back of the ladder. And I use that uh, when I'm over landing. And it's empty right now, but I'll fill it up once I hit British Columbia. There's a Pelican case uh, bolted to the rack, uh, which has various accessories in it. And it's low profile, so I can still get at the tent. ARB awning, uh, which I'm very happy with. Have had that, that for years. It's not huge, but it works well for one person being underneath to cook. And I have a custom built cabinet which has my stove, food, spices, cooking stuff, a clean waste portable toilet, there's a table underneath there, there's an ARB 37 quart refrigerator which I'm extremely happy with, the table, this is a front runner table, I've had it for three years, and I'm running barricade, front bumper, rear bumper, and rock sliders, 10,000 pound ARB winch. This Jeep is also set up with inverters and amps to run cordless microphones and even musical instruments so Pastor can do church services while out in the field. If you'd like to learn more about Pastor Layton, this Jeep, and the mission work that he's doing, check down in the description and I'll have links to his sites. Well, it's time to say goodbye to Pastor Layton and let him get off to his next stop. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.